Hey guys, it's me, the Giddy Gamer, and today I'm going to show you some of the best client-side mods for 1.15.2. You're going to need Fabric and Fabric API for this, and also, I just passed 200 subs, so I opened a Discord server. I'll leave an invite link in the description of these videos, and the link to all the mods I check out. Anyways, I hope to see you in the Discord server and have fun watching the video and that right there was a perfect representation of the first mod on the list called ping it adds a little ping once the game starts so if you're browsing other tabs or something you could be like oh my game finally started super helpful Okay guys, the first mod on the list is called World Time. It just shows time on top left corner. But while I'm at it, I'm going to show you the other mod. Another mod. Um, It's called Light Level. So basically, uh, let's do slash time set night. Right? It's night, right? You don't say you want to light stuff up. You don't know. You don't want to check every block with F3. So what we can do is hit F9. It shows you the light level automatically. Like, say, this is 07, this is getting too dark. So that's super helpful. It just kind of lacks up your game a bit. But it's not like you're going to be constantly having that on or something. Okay, guys, next mod on the list is called Fabric Auto Switch. So what it does is it automatically switches. Oh, I have to turn it on first. That's not a bit bad. Alright, okay, I enabled it. So... Basically, you when you try to bake something, it automatically switches to what it thinks you would want to use. So, see, it switched to axe for, uh, what's it called? For, uh, wood, it switched to shovel for, uh, dirt, pickaxe for stone, you get the point. So, automatically switch for you. This one's getting on the border of a little bit cheaty, so you might want to ask before you actually use it on any servers, just to be safe. Okay guys, the next mod on the list is called Chat Ups. So what it does is it raises the chat up, so it doesn't block any of your stats. Super helpful if there's a lot of people typing in chat, and you're trying to do something that involves your stats. Okay guys, the next mod on the list is called, um, Enchanted Tooltips. So it basically lets you see what's enchants on it, what they do. It works with enchant books too. So if you don't remember what an enchant does, you can easily see by hitting shift what it does. Super helpful. I don't know all the enchants. So this is actually one I'm probably going to keep. Okay guys, the next mod on the list is called Horse Stats. So it lets you see the stats of your horse, like how fast can it run, how high can it jump, and what's its health. So you don't have to go around manually, well, testing anything. So super helpful if you're trying to find a good horse without having to actually test them. You just kind of get on them, tame them, and see what stats they have. Okay guys, the next mod on the list is called a Voxel Map. So what it does is it displays a map on the top right corner. So, pretty nice if you want to see a map of your world. That does not look right. What? Uh, it's just unloaded chunks. Okay, I figured it out. But yeah, pretty cool ma mod if you want to have a map of your area. Okay guys, the next mod on the list is called... Uh, Lambala Craft. Basically, it allows you to use Xbox, PS4 controllers, just whatever controller you want in Minecraft. This one's pretty harmless, so... I think you can use this on pretty much any server. It's just a different controller, right? I don't really know why people like Xbox controllers. I know, what's the only thing is, is you can do the slow, nice, slow pants. Everything else, I find more difficult to do. You know? But yeah, overall, it's a pretty nice mod. It, it integrates nicely into vanilla. You can use it on any server you want, pretty much. 
Okay, guys, so the last mod on the list is called Start the Music. So basically, if you have hit, uh, what was it, G, I think? No, that's not it. I think that might be, uh, music and sounds. No, controls. There might be some interference. Okay, so if I hit G now, it should start some Minecraft music. Yeah, so it puts in Minecraft music, so you can control when the start stops. If you set the start, it'll just keep going from one track to the next automatically, without any pauses. So it's pretty nice, instead of those long pauses in the music you normally have. So yeah, if I hit Shift G, I can stop it. Shift G, and I can hit G again to start a different track. That's pretty nice. Oh, it's raining. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you some gameplay with these mods.
Okay guys, thanks for watching and bye!